I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to create and edit pages on your Shopify store. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. The way you're going to access the pages section on your Shopify store is from the Shopify dashboard. I have mine loaded here and you want to go to the online store section on the left hand side. And if you click on this, it's going to open up the theme section, but there are multiple sub menu items. And the section we want to navigate to is the pages section. And from here, you can find all your existing pages. You can filter or search for them at the top. And I can see some existing pages I've created on this demo store. Now you can ignore this section here. Your store probably won't have it. This is a development store, so it is password locked for any user. Now first, let's go over how to create a new page. This is available in the top right hand section under add page and clicking on that is going to open up our page editor. So there are a few sections we can fill out here. We can edit our title. So let's say I want to create a new about us page. I can call this about us and in the content here, I can include images, text, depending on how I want this to look. There's also a generate text button now in Shopify. So let's say I want to create an about us page for a camping store that sells tents and other related camping gear. Let's hit generate. So it's going to load for a few seconds here. I'm going to click keep on this generated text just to fill this page out. And so once we fill out our content, we get a search engine preview. So this is what it's gonna look like for search engines on something like Google. If a customer sees our About Us page, they'll see the title and then the content in there. I can go and edit this individually if I wanted to, and you can see what the URL is going to look like as well. Next up on the top right here, we can set our visibility. We could hide this page if we wanted to. I'll leave this as visible. You can also set a visibility date or when it's available for users. Maybe it's about a special promotion that launches on a specific date. We can set it to launch then. Next up, there is the theme template. It's gonna have the default one and depending on the apps you install, they might install different templates here, but you should at least see contact pages. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this as the default page template and I'll leave all the customization here in the content. Now this works as a regular text editor. So you could bold sections, we could italicize certain sections as well. We could maybe add some list formatting. It's all gonna be available at the top here. I could also insert an image or a video. If I click insert image, it's gonna open up this image section and I can see all the images I've uploaded. I'll hit done here to upload this image. I can click on it, change the alignment to center or something like that if I wanted to. I can rearrange this. And if you've used any text editors, it's gonna operate pretty similar to that. Now to finalize any of the changes on a page, I'll leave it visible, hit save on the top and I can now see it's available and created. Now I can preview this by clicking on that view button. I can see that looks pretty good. And that's how we create pages. Now, what about editing pages? If I click back to the tab here with all my existing pages, I can click on any individual page. Let's say I wanna go and re-edit this About Us page. I can click into it and I can just go and customize anything that I just created. I could maybe remove a sentence. I could bold some text here. I could change the title, maybe change it to dash camping store. And I can then go and finalize any of these pages. Now that you have a page, you may be wondering how to add it to your navigation. So first up, let's go and see what navigation menu is being used by our theme. So I'll click on themes here. I'm currently running a version of Dawn. I'll click customize. I can see my header menu on top here. If I click on this general section, I can see the menu being used is called main menu. So now I have to do is go back to my dashboard here, go to navigation. I can see main menu here, the one that's being used in the header section. I can go and add a new menu item. So I'll call this about us and I'll just search for about. Under pages, I can see the latest about us section I created. Actually, I do have multiple and it's actually about us dash camping store because I did change the title. I can then click add in the bottom right. Let's say I want this to be the second section, maybe removing some of these other items here. I don't want it to be a sub menu item. So I'm going to drag this out of that section. It's now an individual section. I can hit save in the top here, hover over online store, click on this eye icon. I'm going to open up a preview of my store. If you've made any sales on your Shopify store, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. You have your revenue, your cost goods sold, transaction fees, all your ad spend, as well as any other monthly expenses. It can be a headache to keep track of. And that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It syncs seamlessly, and all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, 
so you can see how much money your store has actually made. It works seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold providers. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself so you can start making smarter business decisions as you'll have a true understanding of your store's performance. There's a link in the description that will take you to the Shopify app store directly. You can also search for it by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. Again, there's a 15 day free trial, so make sure you check that out. And if I reload the page here, I can see the second item in my navigation is the about us page. And if I click on it, I can see the page I just created making it easily accessible for any users that visit this site. So this concludes the video here on how to create and edit Shopify pages. If this helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.